YouTube, what's going on? So we're here in my studio today and I'm gonna show you in this video how I made some frames for some graffiti tags that I had laying around. So a while back ago, I made these uh, tags on painted plywood scraps that I had left over, and they'd just been hanging around the shop for about a year. So I decided it was time to uh, frame them up and display them to the world and to you guys. So I'm actually gonna share the process of how I made the frames using some custom cut oak wood and uh, plastic welding them together uh, to form fit the pieces. The pieces started out, like I said, there was uh, just some painted plywood and ended up with uh, the three pieces that you see right here, right behind me. So the first thing I did was stain the background wood. I used Varathane charred wood accelerator. Once the wood was dry, I took it out to the miter saw and cut it into four equal pieces. I'm using a Ryobi TSS102L. So here you can see I put oak wood next to the plywood and I marked some 45 degree angles on the wood. After making the cut, I realized it was too short. So I still used that same wood. I just turned it sideways and made a new cut. Next, after cutting out all the pieces for the frames, I had to sand them all down. I'm using a Makita palm sander and 80 grit sandpaper. After I cut all the pieces out and had them all sanded down, I decided the frames would look really cool with the blue inner edge. I'm using Windsor Newton Galleria Series Cerulean Blue acrylic paint. I painted all the wood by hand, gave them all about three coats each and sealed the wood on all sides. I did mark all the frames to each plywood since they were each cut to size. So here you can see me sizing them up and making sure they all fit. I noticed there's one piece needed to be cut just a tiny bit more. So I had to take it back to the miter saw and shave off that one corner. Using a hot glue gun, I first put together the four corners as tightly as possible. I used a Sherbonder 60 watt full size dual temperature hot glue gun. And I used full size dual temperature Gorilla hot glue sticks. After they dried, I inspected all the corners and then proceeded to plastic weld the plywood into the frame itself. I'm using the glue gun on high temperature to ensure the strongest bond, but make sure you don't touch this stuff because it will stick to your finger and burn really bad. I immediately got a huge blister and this is what it looked like one week later. With a blistered finger, I still managed to finish off the frames, laying down a glue bead between the plywood and the oak wood. Thankfully, the plywood and frames were a really tight fit, so there was a minimal gap to fill with the glue. After fitting all three frames and smoothing out imperfections with a lighter, I added some half inch cork discs on the back of each frame. They are self adhesive, but I used the hot glue instead and doubled them up. Next, I did a loose mock up of the three pieces and began measuring to install the mounting hardware. I'm using normal sawtooth picture hangers and a Ryobi 18 volt impact driver. Make sure to use short screws so that they don't poke through the other side of the wood. I repeated this process two more times, then took careful measurements to ensure the tags were as centered as possible within the frames. I marked each of the tags in place by tracing around the perimeter with a pencil. To mount the tags on the wood, I'm using Type Bond 3 Ultimate Wood Glue. Instead of clamping down the tags, I'm using the hot glue to secure the tags to the wood while the wood glue cures. So after laying down a good amount of wood glue and hot glue, I went ahead and mounted the tags on the wood and just let them dry before mounting them on the wall. So I hope you enjoyed the framing of these three graffiti tags. They're actually part of an ongoing project I have called Time Applied. I've always thought if you could take time as a substance and put it on an object, the results would be erosion and graffiti. So these are a small glimpse into that. 
For those of you who don't know me, my name is Fabian Verdejo. I'm a classically trained fine artist, graffiti artist, graphic designer, and tattoo artist. If you'd like to check out some of my tattoos, you can do so on Instagram. Follow me at scare underscore city. And also make sure to check out my website at scarecity.com where you can find these pieces as well as more pieces of the Time Applied series. You can get some scare merch, book an appointment for a tattoo, and stay in the loop for upcoming events. Well, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Until the next time, spread knowledge and embrace reality.